Forget Turkey is a review of last year, uh, 2012, it's still this year I suppose, and we're tackling everything that happened in a big way, everything from the Jubilee to planning controls to Lady Gaga and MTV, through the Costa Concordia, through the various scandals that happened, the various political faux pas that were made through the year. Uh, we sing about it, we have made television for it that we project. Uh, we have monologues, we have uh, scenes, and it's set in an accident in an emergency department, uh, beginning with an old man on a trolley. There's an unusual thing to happen in this country, and they try to find a bed for him through the play. So it's a play, but it's also a whole stack of other things. You were kissing Paula Welch that used to go out with my buck teeth! Okay, okay, I was, but, but I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, my memory, it's gone again. I can see a light. You'll be seeing stars in a minute. Ah, my skin. Ah, you've got my skin. Ah, where's my BCG? I won. I mean, what's Christmas about if it isn't about forgiving people? Goodwill the old man, member. People like you ruin Christmas for everybody. Lying, cheating, telling people you love them. It's not an ex-girlfriend. Yes. Yes, people do, because they have their heads in the clouds. They're not themselves this time of year. It's a fact. The suicide rate, the murder rate and the divorce rate all go up at Christmas. And it certainly gets busy around here. See? People do things at this time of year they would never do. They spend money they don't have. They sing songs they would never sing. They eat things they would never eat. Kiss people they would never kiss. It's all the pressure and, and stress. Pressure and stress? Of trying to have a Christmas like on the TV. Like he says, mistletoe, love, miracles. Everybody tries too hard, jumps through hoops trying to have the picture perfect Christmas. But life isn't like that. The picture is not perfect. It's not even real. Same as you're always saying, like in the TV and the magazines. Christmas doesn't exist. It's all Photoshop and dressed up. It's a con. It doesn't exist underneath all that tinsel. It's like the celebrities in the jungle without their makeup on, all, all spotty faces and saggy arses. And farting. Christmas. Christmas is just an ordinary day. Dressed up. Christmas doesn't just happen at the click of your fingers. It's something you have to put effort into. Like, like a relationship. relationship. And that's what I'm saying. In all that pressure and stress, I forgot about the important things in life. I got overexcited and carried away. Forgot those important things and snogged Paula Welch. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. It's you I love. Really? Uh, they asked me to do something for Christmas here and I decided to approach Gary Mitchell, the playwright and dramatist, uh, and Colin Murphy, the comedian, and then myself as the lunatic. And we decided that we would try and put something together that was a bit eclectic, a bit different, and really have something a bit scary too, because there are a couple of moments when people go, oh, did they really say that? Um, because we need to, um, it's satire. I'm trying to be like that was the week that was, big boots to fill or spitting image or without playing the people but um, attempting to turn the stone over and see what crawls out and just say it's not all maybe as good as you think it is. We actually have a, a scene which solves the flag's issue. We have the answer. Come and see it. And if you're a politician you better get a move on because you might be around for too much longer.